Oh, hey sis. How you doing, girl? <laughs> Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? Good freaking morning. We are out here. This is kind of day one of me not having my normal job and starting to make videos, you know, kind of full time. So we're going to go out. We're going to go do some scouting. I'm going to scout for some dove. I still want to get on a dove hunt before it's too late. I'm trying to get some light for you guys. Uh, still want to get on a dove hunt before it's too late. And I have some pit, more pigeon that I have to go scout and see if they're in the field this late in the day. So it's a little later in the morning now. Ugh. Excuse me. We're going to pile in the truck. We're going to go see if we can find some freaking birds. And then when we're done finding birds, we're going to come back to the house and I'm going to go over my GoPro setup, uh, head mount, and uh, camera setup. A lot of you guys have been asking about it, so we're going to go over that today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, guys, this field right here, this, uh, oh, it's already, they're already getting after it. So this, so this field right here, they're cutting it right now. That's the corn field, obviously. This field right here, I have permission on, and when this thing gets cut, there are going to be doves all over this thing. I cannot wait for that. While we're driving here, I wanted to kind of cover something, and, uh, you know, I, I get good and bad. Uh, feedback from it and that is the head mount that that is the GoPro head mount some people love it some people hate it some people really don't give a damn but some people like to voice their opinion about it and hey that's fine people can say what they want to freaking say all I know is is that for the most part you guys like the head mount now that being said I have to always remember when I'm recording. You know, when I actually am recording and it's on my head, I have to be steady with my head. I can't just be whipping around and looking, making you guys freaking dizzy and want to puke. That's kind of part of wearing a head mount and filming kind of a lot with a head mount. Um, is you have to be kind of steady so you don't make your viewers sick. Oh yeah. We got the old cutting crew getting the corn out of here. Picking corn, boys. We're picking that corn, boys. Where you at, Flair? We need you to be out here running the damn grain cart, son. But guys, it is getting in the 60s for the high here, finally. Finally, 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 hopefully, hopefully it stays that cool. We got the long sleeve t-shirts, perfect for them high 60 degree days. You're gonna see me repping them a bunch. Link in description. But like I was saying about the head mount, guys, is that you have to, I have to stay steady with it. You know, low light conditions with that GoPro is not very good. Uh, this last pigeon hunt uh, yesterday that I did, you guys haven't seen it yet. I'll probably put it up in a couple days or, or, or something. But anyways, it was a cloudy morning. I just knew that GoPro wasn't going to do good. And plus, I know you guys like the big camera shots from this camera here. This one, my vlog camera, it's a Sony. I will cover it when we get back to the house as well. I used this big camera more. Now, not only because you guys like it, because I love the quality of the footage of using this big camera. But the bad thing is, guys, is that first and foremost, I am a hunter. So like I'm doing now, I'm out scouting for birds. This is gonna be kind of a, a tradition. It's gonna be, I'm gonna take you guys along scouting with me. I'm gonna be doing a lot of scouting, being that I'm off work and that I'm gonna be making videos and doing nothing but hunting. So, all of you that have trouble with scouting or learning scouting, need to learn more about scouting, stick around because we're gonna be doing a lot of it. We're gonna start a lot of, you know, normal vlog videos, scouting, finding birds. I'll be giving you guys the tips, the hints, my tricks, and uh, just teaching you guys so you can get better and, and, and more adequate with your scouting techniques. But as I was saying, first and foremost, guys, I am a hunter. I scout my butt off so I can have good hunts. Now, I've done that forever. Before I started filming, before I started YouTubing, that's what I did was scout so I could have hellacious hunts. With having hellacious hunts means I'm gonna have birds to shoot. That means I can't juggle a big camera, 
all the time and and shoot birds unless I have a full-time cameraman and believe me I don't I have I have some people that'll film for me here and there which is awesome and I appreciate all their help because it's so nice but for the most part I am a hunter before I am a filmer and that's the way it's gonna be so if I'm by myself and I don't have help with filming or if I don't feel like you know putting the gun down and picking up the big camera you're gonna be on my head and you and you know I'll try to get some shots some still shots putting a GoPro behind me or in front of me whichever works better uh, sometimes we're gonna have a cameraman sometimes I'm gonna be the cameraman sometimes you're gonna be on my on my head so uh, I'm gonna switch up the angles like I said this year I hope you guys enjoy I'm doing my best to uh, film these hunts as adequately as I can uh, What's important to me is, in the video, being able to see the birds work and work and work. When you're on my head, I can follow them, and you actually get the first person kill shot. So, in my, my, my point of view, like seriously, that's way better than having a GoPro sitting in the same damn spot. Or even having a bigger DSLR sitting in one spot, not following the birds. Even if I'm not zoomed in, you guys are getting to see what happens the whole time and you're having that first person kill shot, which I think is just money. This cold has just drove these birds straight on freaking out of here. There's some people out there that you guys know that like to talk crap on head mounts and how I would never do that, blah, 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 blah. Well, keep doing what you're doing, buddy, because let me tell you, it's working. Oh yeah, so we're headed back home. Oh, Marcus, you got some corn on the ground, man. You got him a, look at that. He's got him a bin full of corn up there. This, this cornfield, like I said earlier, ought to be money. Oh, we are back at the house. Um, while I was out, I actually went looking for a battery for one of the side-by-sides that I have. I'm actually selling one. I'll show you uh, which one we're selling here. So this is the one I'm selling here. Uh, I don't know when I'll post this. If you guys are interested, leave a comment down below in buying this. This is a CF Moto 800 thing. Literally has 300 miles on it, barely broke in. But a battery for that thing is $130. That is more than a truck battery for God's sakes. I checked at three different places, all of them were that expensive. Oh, okay, so I've had a bunch of you ask, hey dude, what's that thing, what's that wire connected to your GoPro on your head? That guys is a mic. Now, it's just a little flurry, bleh, fuzzy clip on lavalier mic is what they call these. You just clip it right here and it gets great sound quality. Now this one here, I have to buy an adapter to plug into my Hero 3 Plus. So this is a 3 Plus and I have a 24 hour battery or all basically they call it an all day battery. But this bad boy plugs in to the side like so, like so, and then I'll run this down on my t-shirt and it will sit right there. That's why the sound quality is so good with this compared to the five. Now, see, I do have a five, and I I wear it fishing, you know, on my chest some. But the sound quality between the three plus and the four with a mic hooked to it compared to the five is just completely different. Now, the five has a wind mode and a basically indoors mode. But it seems like even in wind mode, when I'm outside and it gets hit, or it's like rubbing up against my shirt or something, it's real loud. It's real clanky sounding. It's loud. It's poppy sounding. So all in all, guys, I choose to run the 3 Plus. Now, guys, I was kind of going over this before in the truck. And honestly, if you guys don't like this, you know, let me know. But... If people are, you know, there, there's people out there that just want to hate and say, oh, that's stupid. Well, you're probably just scared to wear it on your head. The, the angle and the viewpoint that this gets is awesome. And believe me, you guys know how many videos I have made. Um, I've made videos without wearing this on my head and just sitting a GoPro in place and having it, you know, hopefully capture the bird getting shot and then falling. I don't, I don't rely on that, guys. I... 
If I'm going to go out, scout my ass off, and uh, get the permission to hunt a field or a pond, and go out of my way, film it, edit it, I want it to be the best I can. And being the best I can is capturing the kill shot, capturing the birds in flight. Now, low light conditions, like I said, this GoPro absolutely is horrible. But, I still feel that having that GoPro on my head, following the birds, and then having the kill shot is 10 times better than having a still frame uh, video that doesn't move and it's just in one spot. The entire hunt, that gets extremely, extremely repetitive and annoying to me. Oh, let's get out of this dark garage. We got crickets going crazy like usual. But guys, I really wanted to thank you guys for all the positive comments lately. You know that with the job situation and everything going on, I'm trying to transition into this full-time thing, and I got a plan ahead, and I got a plan, you know, a day or two ahead, and what I'm going to film and what I'm going to do. So it is extremely different and, and kind of difficult right off the get-go for me. But I wanted to let you guys know, a lot of you have already said, yeah, I'm supporting this channel, yeah, I'm buying Ducks gear. And you know what, guys, I seriously cannot thank you enough. That goes directly to supporting the channel and what I do here, providing how-tos and hunts for you guys to watch for free. You know, I, I don't make a bunch off this. YouTube hates hunting, and uh, they don't pay me very well, so hardly at all. So, what I wanted to do was remind you guys, free shipping. Free shipping. We're doing free shipping on any order over $25. It ends October 4th. So, anything you want, these new, the new long sleeve shirts, go grab them. $25 order, free shipping until October 4th. But today's vlog was just to kind of, you know, go over the camera setup. I wanted to show you guys the head mount. I've had a bunch of you ask about what that was, the mic, you know, all that stuff. The, the GoPro is extremely awkward to wear, but it captures really good shots. It's reliable. I'm going to capture the birds in flight. I'm going to have a better video. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to thank you guys for all your positive feedback lately. It has been great. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now. It is going to be an extremely busy, hectic, crazy, fun season. I can't wait to have the foul season open back up and we're shooting ducks and geese so stay tuned guys thank you for watching drop a thumbs up if you like these vlogs have a good one y'all peace yeah guala 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 i'm living like it's no tomorrow don't know my style won't let you borrow you're thirsty have a glass of water i'm killing these beasts i'll be more dead i put my